Good morning, people of God. Listen, I want to tell you something. He is a God. Our God is a God that is awesome and he's worthy to be praised. I'm speaking to the modern day Davids. This is a message for the modern day Davids, those with a pure heart and you've had to come through some things. I want to share something with you from the book of 2 Samuel from the Sefer. It's called Shemiel Shanai, 2 Samuel, uh, right? David's prayer to God as he thanked and praised God. Now, <clears throat> David was favored by God <clears throat> and chosen to replace Saul as king. Remember, um, many of you resonated with this, the teaching that I did on um, um, you've been eyed by the spirit of Saul exposing the real enemy, right? But in spite of all that, I want us to jump forward and look at David. Right. Not just what Saul, how he eyed him, <clears throat> but the one that God actually had appointed and anointed. Right. And who had the favor of God. Want us to fast forward to his life a little bit and um, dissect his character. Right. David was a man with a pure heart. But did that, does that mean he had no imperfections? No, he had many imperfections. In fact, <clears throat> David committed adultery with Uriah's wife after Saul had gotten killed, right? Um, David's heart always remained pure and humble towards the king. Saul never stopped his pursuit of David. So Saul, um, he got killed, right? And even then in his death, David honored him. But um, David was an imperfect man. However, he still was anointed and appointed by God. And he always had the favor of God. Now, David did something that was very treacherous. He lusted in his flesh when he saw the beauty of Bathsheba, which was Uriah's wife. He, he, he looked out his window one day from the palace and he saw how beautiful she was and marvelous to look upon. And he, then he began to lust after her and he did whatever he had to do to get that woman. He committed it. He had someone go and seek her. And he, they brought him to her and he committed adultery. He slept with her. His heart was in love with her, you know, based on what he saw with his eyes. And um, she got pregnant and she sent word back to him. So he conspired in his heart to, he had a battle was coming up. Um, and what he did was he took her husband, Uriah, who was innocent. And he was willing to fight and serve for King David. And David had him placed on the front of the battle lines because he wanted him to get murdered. He wanted him to get killed in battle because that was how he was going to have that man's wife, right? His lust made him construct that plan and carry it out. But you know that we serve a God who sits high and looks low. So he didn't let David get by with that, right? He checked David on that. He sent the prophet to correct David. And, um... And David's son, he punished David. It hurt David. But he told David his son was going to die. Right? You're going to have that child. But that child, see, that curse was brought upon that child because of the sin of his father and mother. Right? <clears throat> Particularly what David did and how he went about doing that thing. So the child was born. He was able to see his child, but his child got sick, very ill. David knew why the child was ill. So he, it grieved him. He repented. He was sorry. And he mourned for that child. And um, when the child finally died, that lifted up the grief and the convictions that were on him, right? Because he didn't go, he didn't eat for some periods of time. He knew why God was punishing him. God told him. And he was sorry. Um, but he kept that woman. He was faithful to his wife. <laughs> um, he had more than one. Um, but anyway, then this was where I'm going to read you in Second. 20 Samuel, 2 Samuel chapter 22 is how David praised the Lord and thanked God. And for those of you who are modern day Davids, this is where we are right now. We should be in a season of praise and gratefulness because God has done it, right? And um, this is after even David's son, um, um, Ammon, one of his son, he slept with his sister Tamar, right? That lustful spirit, he, he had a spirit of lust for his sister Tamar and um he pretended to be sick and he raped her. And then his son, David's other son, Abs Absalom, who was Tamar's brother, which they were all brothers and sisters, but they were from the same mother. Absalom didn't like that. So eventually he killed his brother or whatever. And then he tried to pursue David and kill David and take the throne from David. But 
God allowed David to prevail, right? God never left David. He was always with David, even when David sinned in his flesh, right? Um, God was still with him. And God delivered David from all the hands of his enemies. And he taught David. And David always surrendered himself and repented himself. when He humbled himself before God when he did something wrong. But he always he kept a pure heart. And that's what was most pleasing to God. And I want <clears throat> to read to you 2 Samuel here, people of God. You modern day David. Um, this is where we should be. We should be in a place of praise, right? Because God has done it. He's delivered you from the hands of the enemies, right? There's nothing our enemies can do to destroy us. If God be for you, who can be against you, right? So anyway, 2 Samuel 22, you modern day Davids. This is how David praised God. And in this Sefer, remember the names are still in many of the Hebrew names. Um, so um, yeah, but anyway, um, 2 Samuel chapter 22. I'm going to read the whole chapter. You know, it just blessed my soul. Um, and this is what came to me this morning. Um, chapter 22. And David spoke unto Yahuwah. Wait a second. And David spoke unto Yahuwah. And the words of his, um, the words of this song. David spoke unto Yahuwah, which is God. The words of this song. In the day that Yahuwah had delivered him out of the hand of all his enemies and out of the hand of Shaul, which is Saul. And he said, Yahuwah is my rock and my fortress <clears throat> and my deliverer, the Elohe of the creator, the, the Elohe of my rock. In him will I trust. He is my shield and the horn of my Yeshua. My, <clears throat> when he says Yeshua here, he's meaning my salvation, right? Jesus is Yeshua, Savior. But Jesus um, hadn't come about yet, right? So anyway, David says, um, the Elohe of my rock, in him will I trust. He is my shield and the horn of my Yeshua, my, which is salvation, which is what he's meaning here. My high tower and my refuge, my savior. You save me from violence. I will call on Yahuwah, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. When the waves of death come past me, the floods of wicked men made me afraid. The sorrows of Sheol come past me about. The snares of death prevented me. In my distress, I called upon Yahuwah and cried to my Elohim, which is the creator. I called upon God and cried to my creator, God of the universe. And he did hear my voice out of his temple, and my cry did enter into his ears. Then the earth shook and trembled. The foundations of heaven moved and shook because <clears throat> he was wroth. There went up a smoke out of his nostrils and fire out of his mouth devoured. Coals were kindled by it. He bowed the heavens also and came down and darkness was under his feet. And he rolled upon a carouf and did fly, and he was seen upon the wings of the wind. And he made darkness pavilions round about him, dark waters and thick clouds of the skies. Through the brightness before him were coals of fire kindled. Yahuwah thundered from heaven, and El Elyon uttered his voice, and he sent out arrows and scattered them, lightning, and discomfited them. And the channels of the sea appeared. The foundations of the world were discovered at the rebuking of Yahuwah. At the blast of the breath of his nostrils, he sent from above. He took me. He drew me out of many waters. He delivered me from my strong enemy and from them that hated me, for they were too strong for me. Verse 19. They prevented me in the day of my calamity, but Yahuwah was my stay. He brought me forth also into a large place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. Yahuwah rewarded me according to my righteousness. See, David was blessed according to his righteousness, right? According to the cleanness of my hands, has he recompensed me. For I have guarded, has he, you heard what he said? According to the cleanness of my hands, has he recompensed me. Was he a perfect man? Nope. We just read how he committed adultery with another man's wife and set the man up. But David, 
surrendered when he got rebuked by God. He repented. He was sorry. And he kept that pure heart. And he kept God. He kept. He never left God. He always served God. Listen. According to the cleanness of my hands, he has recompensed me. Verse 22. For I have guarded the ways of Yahuwah and have not wickedly departed from my Elohim, from my creator. For all his judgments were before me. And as for his statutes, I did not depart from them. I was also upright before him. That means that's his laws. I kept all his laws. I sinned against him. He know he sinned against him, right? Because I just told you what he did. But look at what he's saying. I kept all his thought, his statutes. I did not depart from them. I was also upright before him and have guarded myself from my iniquity. Therefore, Yahuwah has recompensed me according to my righteousness, according to my cleanness in his eyesight. With the merciful, you will show yourself merciful. And with the upright man, you will show yourself upright. With the pure, you will show yourself pure. And with the froward, you will show yourself unsavory. And the afflicted people you will save, but your eyes are upon the haughty, that you may bring them down. For you are my lamp, O Yahuwah, and Yahuwah will lighten my darkness. For by you I have run through a troop. By my Elohim have I leaped over a wall. As for Elohim, his way is perfect. The word of Yahuwah is tried. He is a buckler to all men that trust in him. For who is Elohim, save Yahuwah? And who is a rock, save our Elohim? Who is the creator, except he be God? And who is a rock, except he be our creator, the God of the universe? Elohim is my, that's what David is saying. Elohim is my strength and power, and he makes my way perfect. He makes my feet like hinds feet and sets me upon my high places. He teaches my hands to war. So that a bow of steel is broken by my arms. He gave him strength. Ain't nobody can give you strength like that except God. Except the power of God. You have also given me the shield of your Yeshua. And your gentleness. The shield of your Yeshua is salvation. And your gentleness has made. So you, you see here. You've also given me the shield of your Yeshua. Salvation. Jesus is the savior baby. And your gentleness has made me great. You have enlarged my steps under me so that my feet did not slip. I have pursued my enemies and destroyed them and turned not again until I had consumed them. Verse 38. I pursued my enemies and destroyed them and didn't stop until I consumed them. And I have consumed them and wounded them and they could not arise. Yep, they are falling under my feet. Verse 40, for you have girded me with strength to battle. Them that rose up against me, have you subdued under me? Have you subdued under me? You have also given me the necks of my enemies that I might destroy them that hate me. They looked, but there was none to save, even unto Yahuwah. But he answered them. Oh, my time running out. I got to start this over again. Even unto Yahuwah, but he answered them. As small as the dust of the earth, I did stamp them as the myrrh of the street and did spread them abroad. You also have delivered me from the strivings of my people. You have guarded me to be head of the heathen. A people which I knew not shall serve me. I got to start this over. I mean, I got to stop this. Okay, I'm back. I had to make a little bit of space. Um, So he says here, um, verse 44, you also have delivered me. From the strivings of my people, you have guarded me to be head of the heathen, a people which I knew not shall serve me. Strangers shall submit themselves unto me. As soon as they hear, they shall be obedient unto me. Strangers shall fade away, and they shall be afraid out of their close places. Yahuwah lives, and blessed be my rock, and exalted be the Elohim. Of the rock of my Yeshua. It is Elohim that avenges me. And that brings down the people under me. God does that. When God make you the head. <laughs> Verse 49. And that brings me forth from my enemies. You also have lifted me up on high. Above them that rose up against me. 
You have delivered me from the violent man. Therefore, I will give thanks unto you, O Yahuwah, among the heathen, and I will sing praises unto your name. He is the tower of Yeshua for his king and shows mercy to his anointed unto David and to his seed forevermore. That is Second Samuel 22. You heard what David said. So you that have been eyed, that have been eyed by the spirit of Saul, you are the modern day David. Did you hear what David just said? Okay. All right. That belongs to you. That is a promise. History repeats itself. It is already written. Go and continue to be great. God has already done it. All the power you need is in you. When God is for you, there was none of those weapons that was formed against you were able to prosper. They made you feel uncomfortable. You had some heavy times, heavy hearts. You were weary, but you made it through. And you made some mistakes along the way. We made some mistakes along the way. Amen. <laughs> in our flesh. I can admit to that. I can understand that. Right? But still yet, that didn't stop the anointing, baby. And that's what a lot of folk had a problem with. Because it was you. You were anointed. You were appointed. You didn't ask God for it. He chose you. Right? You didn't choose him. He chose you. He knew you before you were in your mother's womb. Now, the anointing has proven to be victorious. Go and be great, David. Go and enjoy this day. God has done it. He has subdued your enemies. You are queen. You are king. Continue to make God proud. This is your promise. Anyway, people of God, I just wanted to share that. You are the light of the world. Don't ever let your light grow dark. Keep shining bright. We know that the blood of Jesus, Yeshua, our salvation, is the only blood that has power. Go and be great today, modern day David. God has done it for you.